Hey guys, my last video, the uh, drop down bracket, I uh, kind of described it. Sorry, my hands are wet. Wash them. That. I should make sure it's the right thing before I. These are the dust seals, the actual dust seals, and I don't know for sure if these are. I should make sure these are the right ones first. But. They're supposed to go. I guess these things are known or notorious for for failing there. And they're supposed to go like right in there. I guess there's, there's another piece of rubber in there. But my thought was since that dust seal is no longer in there, it kind of um, gives this more play. Yeah, even though this, this, all this does is kind of, uh, kind of keep it, um, it's supposed to keep the dust out, but this, by having that in there, would also keep this tighter, the, the play in there. Because I looked at my, my bearings seemed like they were fine, so, I mean, I gotta rip this whole thing, I mean, I don't know, it seems like a headache. Just replace some dust seals, but, I have to take this whole thing apart. Um, I gotta take the brake caliper off, rotor, pull the hub off, and this whole thing, take this whole thing apart so I can pull the axle out the front. Like the axle needs to come out through the front of this thing. Uh, let's see, I wonder if I can do that or get behind the hub. Wow. Okay, I mean, I can see the bolts for the hub. As long as I can get to my thing. Yeah, because I'm trying to refurbish everything on the front end here, like all the bad hit rubbers and stuff, and... I'm just trying to figure out where this popping sound comes from, so... Where it's coming from. So, man, I'm kind of running out of energy because the last job I did was... freaking hard, you know what I mean? Torquing these things down, get them off. Alright. Okay. Alright guys, alright, so actually what's funny, all my vacuum stuff, all this stuff works, I tested it, so I'm not going to replace any of those seals, I'm just going to pop this off and wait, put that seal on and pop it back off, but the seal that I showed you, this is the actual new improved design with the metal on it, the other one actually didn't have metal on it, and like both my size and like everybody I've talked to said that they did, they, mine just popped out when we're hanging here, but uh, so that's the new improved design right there. I'll put the part number in where we can get it to Amazon. All right, so. All right, guys, so I guess I'm stuck here. I can't go any further than this. I, I gotta put it back together. So, kind of bummed. I can't get my snap ring pliers in there even far enough to get that snap ring. So, shit. So I gotta put this all back together. And I'll just uh, do it maybe next weekend or something. Um, yeah, I'm kind of bummed about that, but uh, yeah, I, I can't. They don't sell like better snap rings. I don't have all this extra crap on them locally. So, I mean, I looked at AutoZone, O'Reilly. So, I mean, I'll look around, see Home Depot, see if they have anything like that, you know. But yeah, I need to. I guess I, yeah, I guess I can't really work on it tomorrow, so. All right, I look around. Hi right, guys, it's probably about two weeks later, so I finally got all the stuff off again. Ordered a new hub seal kit. And I actually got some real snap ring pliers. These are actually the smaller ones. So I hope I can get in there with that. But uh, yeah, that should work. Yeah, those cheapo ones, I just couldn't, I couldn't get in there. They were too thick. But I did, I did have a review on this. I haven't put the video out yet, but I did a review on the new snap ring pliers. Just so I could get this, I do, the whole project was delayed because I didn't have a snap ring pliers. I couldn't get them that would actually fit in there. So, all right, let's look at that off. Well, that's been the hardest thing so far. Just pop it off. Jack, I had to get my bigger snap ring, grind the tips down just so I could get the thing to fit in there. Ugh, brutal. This thing is super, under some super tension right there. So, all right, get that thing off. There's some other kind of retainers in there, if you can see that, but. I don't know if this thing is just supposed to come out with the axle. I don't know. Now that I've uh, 
YouTube videos on this, so um, even the instructions didn't say like what procedure, so just trying to figure it out. So like once I figure out this side, hopefully the second side should be faster. But I'm gonna have to probably if I take out the hub bolts, pull that out. And the deal with this ABS sensor, or I think it's either ABS or a wheel speed sensor. Hopefully I can pull it out, but I don't know. So we'll see. Alright, cool. Alright guys, so I guess I got the uh, four bolts off in the back here. If you can see that back in there. So I guess I just gotta knock this forward with a hammer of some sort. One of my small sludges maybe. <clears throat> I'll probably paint and clean this up while I'm at it. I like to keep everything rust free if I can. <clears throat> Alright, so <clears throat> I got this off already. The uh, speed sensor, wheel speed sensor. Yeah, I just don't know about that thing right there, you know. So can't get it out there. So we'll see if I hit it a couple times, see what happens. Alright guys, here it is. Got the hub off. As you can see, it's the newer style with the steel bearing. The older style had that open needle bearing. So I clean it up. Like this thing, the seals work fine, like I said. Like I didn't have any, uh, it, it would activate, you know, without any problem. So I'm going to clean up all this extra gunk in here. And paint it while I'm here. Clean it up because I never get to this area, so. I think I'm just gonna hopefully pull the axle forward. I think that's how it works. I guess I'll find out. Alright guys, this is I'm happy to see this. So I don't know if this is aftermarket or original, but it says made in the USA. That's a good sign. Timken. So at least it's one of the better Timken barons made in the USA. These are sorry, I always have a cold. <laughs> These videos I'm always do my nose, but that's at least a, that's a Japanese bearing that I try to figure out. I was, I was gonna replace this bearing possibly, but this is fine, so awesome. At least it's Timken. I'm stoked with that. So now I got this axe lock. Clean it up. Cool. Alright, this was another nightmare trying to get this thing out. So I got my crowbar. <coughs> got the crowbar, the tip of the crowbar down there in between here and here and it's pried back real hard so we're gonna need definitely something long or two people so yeah at first I couldn't figure out how this thing came out but uh, so okay so that doesn't spin. I'm just wondering how this thing actually spins so this doesn't actually move no this, this is stationary and just spins on the inside okay cool hey right, guys all hell all the, I just went through all that hell just to Place the dust seal right here. This is the new improved design. Just goes right in there. I guess. Alright. That'll be the one. And as you can see, this is not supposed to be dusty right here. That's all that's not supposed to be dirty right there. So I'm gonna clean all that off and uh, get going here. Okay guys, so I have this little Harbor Freight tool thing I use. Pound that in there. Like that. I would probably have to get some sort of extension because I'm not going to do it. But, uh, alright. Alright guys, the seal in there. I had to use a, I had to cut a little piece here. Kind of like a little cheater. Alright. Is that cleaned up? I should just go back on there now. I'm going to grease it up a little bit. Grease up these seals. Yeah, maybe I'm going back on. These are going to sit on the seal surface, but it seems like that that axle spinning on that seal would rip it up really fast. I am going to put some oil grease on it, obviously, but it doesn't seem like that would be a smart move. But you never know. So, all right. All right, guys. That was a lot of headache just for that dust seal. So now I'm just going to put it back together. Remember that? Get all that Get crap in there as clean as I can. Get lubed up. Back together. All right. I got this thing back together. So the last thing I do is put the hub in here. I bought this. This is a doorman kit. It's a seal kit for the hub. And it came with screws too. I'll probably end up just using the other ones I haven't painted. But it came with two seals, but this thing only actually has one seal. That's cool. Extra seal. 25 bucks, kind of expensive, and this also came with that paper seal too. So I guess I'll try to take the other one off. K2 
keep it as a backup. Cool. Almost done. So, all right. All right, guys. It's my hand. Now it's way tighter in here now. Just doesn't have all that slop anymore. So, I would say that's a success, but it's a really hard job, man. <laughs> Just replace that one seal. Ah, yeah, so that's way tighter. That's good. I don't like how that virgin metal is being shown, but where the old seal was at, but that's how it goes. All right, awesome. All right, project done. I gotta do that real now. That's hard. <laughs>